So about a year ago, we redid this pantry for the first time. So we're gonna give you a look back on what it looked like, what it took to get it finished, and show you what needs to be done today. There's a little bit of work that needs to be done in here. We, uh, we tend to get things really nice, clean, and organized, and then we revisit it again in like a year. There's a shelf that needs to be put in, and we're also gonna be working on a hot cocoa bar. Initially, this was the master bedroom. You can see that pretty floral wallpaper there. We put up shiplap and new cabinets. So these cabinets here, we had to modify heavily so that they would fit in the space where the door was. And I didn't realize that when we bought them, but we cut the backs out and re-glued everything together. We picked them up at Home Depot and they're unfinished. So we went ahead and painted them. Everything got primed because we didn't want any bleed through before we laid down the DIY paint. I'm using DIY's beadboard in my HVLP spray gun. If you want a more in-depth video, we'll drop a link to how to spray the paint below. To pick up this paint, you can go to jamierayvintage.com. So here we're just priming all the knots on the shiplap because it was pine shiplap. If you don't, that just shows yellow through in about a month or two. It doesn't take it long to come through. And then we put beadboard on the sides of the cabinets so it looked more like a built-in. So here's Eb spraying all the cabinets with Sweet Pickens top coat and I'm priming the floors. Yeah, we had to prime the floors before we put this. It's like a peel and stick vinyl, but it has grout in between. It's like designed for that. It's pretty <laughs> cool stuff. My messy bun bouncing. All in all, we did one coat of primer, two coats of DIY beadboard, and four coats of Sweet Pickens top coat for our cabinets. So right about here is the current state of the pantry after we lived here a year. It used to be clean, then you know, we get busy and we do projects and cook things and sometimes stuff just gets thrown in here because we've got to film other parts of the house. It's clean about once a month I come in here because I can't handle <laughs> it anymore, but this is the reality of it. We can clean it up fairly quickly, but we really need to get some better organization in some of the cabinets. This is one of those cabinets, just a big old hole. This is like got a lot of the baking supplies and it's a pain to find them every time. When I start putting things up, we actually have drawers for everything. We have one entire drawer full of bread. I know that's weird, but there's eight of us and nine if you include Harrington. So it just neatly goes away. We've got tortilla chips and pretzels and just like some random stuff that people have left around. Those go in cabinets. And I gotta get ready for my cocoa bar. Cocoa bar's happening, it's coming soon. All right, clearing the countertops. So I like to clean a space by removing everything out of it, wiping everything down, organizing and consolidating. We had flour in three different places. This is all AP flour. We also use Lay Parfait jars to do all of our baking supplies and it keeps things nice and organized. We sell those also at jamierayvintage.com. All right, so I'm just adding a hole on this side so that we can plug the, uh, the cure again so we can make the hot chocolate. And then I'm gonna put the microwave back in the appliance garage here. We only have one appliance in there, but it works to hide all the cords too. Hey, it garages it. We really need to actually fix the inside. It's got like nail holes from the beadboard and unfinished <laughs> plywood, but maybe next year we'll work on that. Yeah, a year from now, I think that's okay. Oh, the cocoa spilled. It's a mess. On the, is it spilled on the molasses? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> that was a dumb idea. So that gross looking spill there is molasses. The bonus of not finding molasses spilled in the bottom of your cupboard for a long time is that it hardens up. You just take a spatula in here. Now I can just wipe the rest of that out. All right, so we're getting this shelf that we've needed in here and I just cut a one by 12 piece of poplar wood that I had sitting around. Um, one by 12 common pine would probably work as well. And then I'm just nailing some little feet on it so that we can have a divider and also that's gonna keep it from bowing if we put heavy weight on there. It took me probably 10 minutes to throw this shelf together with my nailer, it was really easy.
So you can see how useful that shelf is to organize. And we did the same thing on the island, just a shelf and suddenly everything fits and you can see it all and find it instead of it all just being stacked in layers in there. We also are gonna add a couple more shelves in this area. It's just had one shelf and been a hodgepodge mess situation. Here I'm telling Zeb where these go. <laughs> Tell him about this. I picked this up a few years ago in France and haven't ever had a wall. And recently I found a couple utensils and now it has a place to go. <laughs> oh, the cocoa bar. <laughs> the kids have been enjoying this for weeks, but now it's set up and looks cute. Yeah, it's been there with that pile of stuff. We also like to keep a drawer of easy things like those are oatmeals and popcorns that people can make right underneath the microwave. This is our Harvest Right freeze dryer. It's awesome, we use it all the time. The kid's favorite thing to do is Skittles and pineapple. Um, I've done several things like uh, tomatoes, potatoes. We're gonna be doing a lot more freeze drying, so we're excited to have it. If you see all of our syrups, that's for Italian sodas. My kids are obsessed with it. Zeb doesn't like the sticky mess, but we have fun anyways. Well, now it's organized a little better. Ta-da! I still want a wall there to separate the trash can, but... Yeah, this cupboard didn't come with separators between all the doors. Like, I don't even know. It's just one big open space in there. I don't think it was made for the trash can. I just put one in there. I love seeing all the shelves organized. It really helps when you're baking to see your supplies. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video and going way back to where this pantry came from. Actually, while I'm standing here, I'm realizing we're still missing some trim. Shh, don't look at it. You, can, <laughs> you can't see it from the kitchen, so it doesn't exist until you're in here. I'm going to give you the one year review. Revere. I'm going to give you the one year review because we have had this pantry for a year and I have to say it's super functional. I love the open shelving because we can kind of change up what's going on. I put the things that aren't as pretty back here and nobody really sees it. And we had room for our freeze dryer that we didn't even know we were gonna get when we designed the pantry. Yeah, it fit right in the space. I'm like, yes, I don't have to go down to the basement all the time to swap out food. Speaking of the basement, if you guys wanna see what our basement food storage looks like, stay after the sign out to check that out. And if you're interested in food storage and freeze drying videos, comment below because we can make some in the new year. If you wanna buy the paint and products we use to finish up our pantry, be sure to check out jamierayvintage.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. All right, so this is our food storage. We don't have uh, lights down here, so ignore that, but yeah, toilet paper, paper towels, water, emergency food storage situation, all organized by what they are, and then canning jar supplies um, in case the freezer goes out, and then freeze-dried food. There's our double canner. Sorry, it's dusty down here. <laughs>